Since the ancient times in Egypt, jewelry which was made with precious materials like gold and diamonds was always a sign of the elite. Because the materials were rare, they were very valuable, therefore they were a sign of status. The values and the attributes of luxury have changed over time, especially recently with the new generation of customers, the millennials. So price, which used to be the main attribute of luxury, is no longer the, the most important one. The main attributes today are craftsmanship, design, but also sustainability, how you are responsible in terms of protecting the planet. Well, Damas is the largest jeweler in the Middle East. We have a network of 180 stores in seven countries, and we represent international brands from Europe or from Japan and India. But also we have our own in-house brands which are designed by our own designers. Our purpose, I would say, is to make every woman feel precious, feel admired, feel desirable. I think that's our main purpose today. Our vision is to reinvent the new Damas and to make it the ultimate house of jewelry design in the Middle East. Our mission is to create well-being for the modern woman by offering her exquisite jewelry, but also an unparalleled customer experience. Integrating storytelling with design is key, you know, because you want to engage your client and you want to create an emotional connection with your customer. So by telling a story that has a meaning, then you are successful in engaging this customer and you bring this customer into the world of Damas. It was very important for us to incorporate in-house designs and move away from generic designs because we want to build the DNA of Damas. Therefore, we had to create a team of internal designers that really understand our brand. Innovation is a key for a company that wants to reinvent itself constantly. And this is what we do at Damas. We try to be disruptive, we try to bring a lot of innovation in order to show our customers that we can always be at the edge, we can be bringing them new experiences, new products, new ways of wearing the jewelry new materials. So it's very important to surprise your customers and to bring them something very new all the time. The Gaia collection is our first man-made diamond collection. It's our brainchild of our CEO and chairman, Luke Perramont. So through the Gaia collection, with the use of lab-grown diamonds, we are taking our first steps through product towards sustainability, ethical practice, and more eco-friendly jewellery. The Gaia collection is very important to us. It's a collection which is for the first time introducing man-made diamonds to the region, to our customers. Gaia is a Greek goddess of Earth. It's a mother of all life. And it has a great significance because man-made diamonds are sustainable. The main difference between a natural mine diamond and a lab-grown diamond is the origin. So a natural mined diamond is obviously mined, and then a lab-grown diamond is created in a laboratory. Our relationship with international brands is strategic for Damas. We have always had relationship with international brands, especially from Europe. And this is very important because it helps us strengthen our leadership in the Middle East. We represent, for example, Graf in Dubai. We represent Roberto Coin from Italy. We represent Jula from France. And those brands are key for us in terms of leadership in the industry. They're also very important because they help us to always improve our expertise in diamonds, in stones, and in brand building. But we wanted Bait Damas to be a platform to help local designers or young designers to exhibit their work. And so there is an exhibition space at Bait Damas where they can create pop-ups and they can bring their creations and we invite our clients so that they have a voice, they have a platform where they can really emerge. The jewelry sector is evolving constantly, faster and faster. So what is happening today is that branded jewelry is growing much faster than unbranded jewelry. Why? Because customers want to have the security and the safety of an established brand umbrella. Second is the large international groups 
in luxury will continue to dominate the, the market. But I believe there is space for independent brands. There is space for brands that can bring something that is innovative, that is distinctive. Brands that have really a distinctive personality identity and that can bring innovation. So I believe those brands will be successful in the future. Yeah, we work very hard every day to maintain our leadership in this industry, in the region. The first way to do that is to attract and retain the top talents in the industry, whether it's designer, product people, marketing people. It's very important to have the top talents. This helps us to be innovative, creative, which is another way to lead by disruption, by being innovative every day.